Thanks, my man. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Certainly, it's a privilege to be here and to represent Siemens uh, on behalf of the, the great partnership that we have with AWS and how hopefully in the next few minutes you'll see how that partnership is going to the next level. So pretty important stuff. You know, I'm guessing that over the last few months, on your way home for your last customer, maybe from your last appointment, you're thinking about, hey, you know, how do I expand the kinds of offerings that the IoT marketplace wants to have? How do I be able to relate to a broader scope of customers and, it, and offer innovative solutions? And so hopefully what you'll see in the next few minutes is an invitation for you to join Siemens and AWS together in order to approach the IoT marketplace in very innovative ways and in ways that you can expand your business bottom line. So every day, you know, when you work with a company like Siemens, um, it's sometimes more important to understand what doesn't happen. Good things happen to people because great companies make sure bad things don't. Take Jane. When she lands in London for her sister's wedding, she's glad to see her luggage waiting for her. Siemens helps airports avoid baggage system downtimes by proactively monitoring performance. Siemens made sure Jane's luggage wasn't lost, and the wedding was perfect. Ted's always been nervous about getting stuck in elevators. Siemens analytics solutions provide uninterrupted energy to millions of people. So the power didn't go out, Ted didn't get stuck, and he even enjoyed the ride. Jim decided to take the train today for his important job interview. 25 U.S. transit agencies use Siemens software to diagnose potential problems early and plan proactive maintenance. Today, Jim's train wasn't delayed. He didn't miss the interview, and he landed the job. Often, what doesn't happen in the course of a day keeps our world running smoothly. That's what Siemens thinks about, so you don't have to. That's the power of the industrial Internet of Things. Thank you. So I think what's most important about what you just saw is that digitalization is changing every industry. So the places that you've been doing business and the kind of solutions that they want to see and the kind of solutions that customers are telling us they want to see is the kinds of things that you saw in that videotape. So it's important to understand, number one, what your strengths are, what you're capable of, and how we can join forces in order to take that to the next level. One of the things that we do that this slide represents is the fact that we like to be very vertically aligned by industry. So we like to look at the industry and then the domains in order to be able to characterize the kinds of solutions that we bring to the marketplace. And obviously we invite you and other partners in order to kind of come together and help us uh, understand the kinds of expertise that you bring to the table, to the domains and to the industries that you serve today. So I think that's really kind of the big, uh, big opportunity here. So uh, in essence, the relationship is Siemens, the number one global automation provider. Obviously, I'll talk a little bit later about our strong industrial base and AWS being the number one global cloud provider. But, you know, really the, the story at the end of the day lies in the fact that I get asked almost every day, why AWS? The first and foremost thing is you've got to have platform stability because when you see the businesses that were represented in that film, you understand how important it is that zero downtime be the goal, right? And so those kinds of things were important to us. Performance and scalability, the next two big items. The final item is security. And those are the characteristics of a platform, and those are the things that we were most interested in. And that's why we picked AWS. Of course, their scalability is well-renowned, 
and their performance speaks for itself, and essentially that's why we chose them. Now, you know, one of the things that we have done is that we've used AWS with inside Siemens, and we've done that in a couple of places, and they've helped us improve Siemens business. So, for example, in mobility solutions, we increased the availability of trains from 87 to 99%. The key there is the basic measurement of availability of a product is affected by using AWS services. Leader in uh, power generation, we ingest terabytes of data across power generation in order to be able to provide analytics that, again, vertically aligned to be able to provide the kind of services that people expect. And then finally, in product lifecycle management, in the manufacturing operations management side of the business, we collect information in the plants to provide a closed loop path back to engineering. All that's done with AWS services today. So in MindSphere, um, which um, obviously we're getting ready uh, to launch, um, we use over 40 plus AWS services. So I guess this is important to me because I think you need to understand, and most of you guys are deep enough into the product to understand that that's not a superficial use of the product. That's a very in-depth use of the product because we wanted our customers to be able to choose to use AWS-based services and MindSphere services, our product services. So that balance of opportunity for the customer I think at the end of the day allows us to be creative in our solution set and brings us some uniqueness to the marketplace. And all this is within the context of AWS First, which is the initiative by which MindSphere um, is currently under. So <laughs> this, okay, note, this is the big news. This is the splash. On January 15th, we will announce MindSphere version three on AWS to the global marketplace in Siemens and outside of Siemens. This, this product is really revolutionary from the perspective that we have enabled broad connectivity first. So the level one value proposition that all our customers come to us and ask for is connectedness. What do they mean by that? They mean Siemens equipment, non-Siemens equipment. They mean enterprise connectivity, histogram, databases, and cloud-to-cloud -cloud connectivity. Those are the kinds of things that we have in MindSphere version three. So very robust, connected level piece of security there. Second thing is, we have a very robust way to access the APIs so that you can build application solutions quickly. So today, being in the partner ecosystem, you probably know that there are categories of applications, some that maybe get built in three to six months, others that get built very fast and give tremendous value. And that ability to know and understand the customers is, is really important here. And so that's kind of the foundation of what we want to be able to offer is, if you need something quickly, you can do it quickly. If you need something to be a little bit more robust, we allow you to do that. We're going to give you um, industry solutions with advanced analytics. Well, what does that really mean? Well, at the end of the day, there's a base set of analytics that sit there in AWS, and you saw some analytics even in today's presentations. We go very deep, as, as you may know, in most of your customers, and we're doing typically the kind of work that require very creative, very unique solutions within that industry, within that domain. That's very important, and it's very important to all of us to know that that's the core of our offering. Now, I, I talked a little bit about digitalization and how it changes everything. This is our base, 30 million automation systems, 
75 million contracted smart meters, 800K connected products. So that's the base Siemens has. That's the opportunity in the partner ecosystem for you. So those are people that we're currently connected to, run their manufacturing plants, do the kinds of things that you're gonna to wanna to do. And in this diagram, I'll just mention smart cities, another category on the other side of the fence, where you're looking at cities that want us to control their shipping ports, their airports, their traffic management, and on and on. So again, it's, it's a, a topic that Siemens gets invited to because of their global uh, reach. Another type of very specific application called, is called digital twin. I mentioned digital twin because it's an example of a high order application. This is an application that allows you to utilize the fact that we collect data from a variety of sources because of the products that we deliver to the marketplace. So we can look at design data, we can look at simulation data, and we can look at operational data, and we can look at plant data. All those things are at our fingertips. Now you write an application that essentially builds the information around the digital twin, compare it to the operational environment, and you then can see anomalies that are occurring, and you can be very specific about what the next steps ought to be. That's very specific to us, and it's specific to Siemens and AWS and our ability to really collect from a variety of data sources and utilize what typically we have in a lot of your big customers. The key here, this is kind of a marketing architecture slide, but the key thing that you should know is that you can build your own applications. The important thing here is that your uniqueness and your ability to, uh, to engage with the customer and provide digital services is completely yours. So that's why it's so important to get involved with the partner ecosystem, have the ability to build these kind of applications and bring your uniqueness to a particular domain in a particular industry. And getting close to the end here, um, this is Siemens. It's a 170 year history. And what we do is we call out milestones that change the nature of Siemens. And I think the most important thing to understand is that over 170 years, there were these kinds of milestones, and the milestone today is MindSphere. And that's why MindSphere on AWS is such an important piece. We invite you to be part of making history. Um, I thank you, and the website that you can go to is siemens.mindsphere.io. Thank you. <laughs>